everyone. You may have seen that people are stocking up on toilet paper. So I wanted to make a video and tell you the reasons why. Reason number one is people resort to extreme measures when they hear something that is conflicting, really conflicting message. So with coronavirus, <clears throat> it seems like on one hand, people are dying. On the other hand, health officials are telling you, just wash your hands, right? So it's, <clears throat> it's a pretty conflicting message. And so people, uh, people get scared and they start to... Um, they start to stock up on things like household uh, items so that they can prepare for the worst and toilet paper is one of them. Reason number two is a lack of direction from officials. So it's not clear how health organizations, you know, hospitals are going to take care of the population. If you get sick, are you going to be in a hospital? Or are you going to be at home, you know, being self-isolated um, and you're supposed to heal yourself? Um, so there is no clear direction on what's going to happen if this coronavirus is going to overwhelm the health system or not. And so people are, again, hearing not hearing um, clear direction. And so they're not sure and they're, they're basically, again, stocking up on household essentials in case they have to self-isolate themselves and it's one thing to worry less about. Reason number three is that people buying begs panic buying. So when you see, um, when you go to the stores and you see empty shelves of, of toilet paper, you might be thinking, well, why am I not buying it? If everyone else is buying it, I should be buying it too. And so, you know, we are we are social creatures and we look to other humans for cues on what we should be doing, what what's dangerous, what's not dangerous. And so we're basically following the crowd and then other people are seeing, oh, you know, more and more people are buying. There's, there's, uh, there's out of stocks in store. I'm missing on something. I, I run and buy. So I, I'm now um, a panic buyer. Reason number four is that it's natural to over prepare in situations like this, because uh, health officials and media tell you to avoid contact, stay at home, and. Uh, avoid you know larger crowds at work they tell you oh, it's better to maybe work from home um, avoid meetings with over you know 20 or 30 people uh, don't go to you know concerts and um, and games and so it's natural for people to mentally prepare for this um, you know survival uh, psychology where you must be prepared to stay at home and for that reason you want to stock up on essentials and that certainly again includes toilet paper because once we run out of toilet paper what do we do to replace it with well in Canada people are used to using toilet paper they're not really um, using water, for example, uh, as other con uh, as people may be using in other countries. And last reason, reason number five, is that it allows you to feel some sense of control. You still haven't gotten sick, and there's nothing really you can do but to prepare. And going and buying these household essential supplies is something you can do right now. And it, it again, it makes you feel that you're in control of the situation and that you're doing everything possible to prepare for the worst. And it allows you to then think about, you know, other things other than 
coronavirus. So these are the five reasons I think why people are buying toilet paper and stocking up on it. If you think there's other reasons, I'd be curious to know what you think. Um, feel free to share in the comments below this video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.